I'm here today because inside RBS there is a weapons seminar about to sell weapons to as many countries as possible in the Middle East. Oppressive regimes by Bahrain, Saudi Arabia and Qatar. <laughs> David Cameron and his friends have made a pretense of welcoming the Arab Spring, saying how much they appreciate democracy. And yet here in the heart of London, there's a conference going on with government representatives and arms dealers that sees the dictatorships in the Middle East as a sales opportunity. Tell us about your experiences so far this afternoon. OK, well, we uh, turned up at half past two at Royal Bank of Scotland here to protest the Middle East defence and security event. Um, I just walked in, um, got past two levels of security without having to do anything, told them my name, they gave me a pass, I got in, I went up to the floor where the event was, I found it all set up, ready for a conference, but there was no one there, the whole floor was empty. Um, so I found someone that said, uh, I'm looking for the defence and security event, they said, oh, um, we're sorry, we tried to tell you all, it's been moved at the last minute because these protesters so uh, I said well where's it gone and she said well they haven't even told me she said I think it's ridiculous the level of security uh, um, but the thing is you could be a protester sir and uh, I just smiled and she said I'm sure you're not um, so then I was introduced to the head of security so that he could tell me uh, where the event had been moved to um, somebody along the way told me that it had been moved just across the road so it's very close so we're in the right place um, the head of security uh, went decidedly frosty when he asked uh, who I was representing and I told him campaign against arms trade. So yeah, that was my little adventure today. I, I got quite close. It has been moved and the very fact that it's been moved and, uh, uh, at last minute, at, I, I would say some inconvenience to, the, to everyone involved, uh, is, is a little minor success that brings me some joy today. I tell you that's yes, gas, it's good stuff. So we're trying to say to RBS, who uh, is like hugely owned by the British taxpayer and so funded by a lot of our money, that we don't want our money in these kind of investments. Would you like some weapons, sir? I think it's something that most people in Britain and around the world will find utterly abhorrent, and I hope they'll make those views known. And I'm sure that many, many people will be outside the arms fair on Tuesday the 13th of September or lobbying Parliament on that day or lobbying their MPs or arms companies in their local area and making that view known. We need to stand up and say people in Britain, like people in Egypt, like people in Libya, want democracy and don't want to sell weapons to tyrants.